All right, guys, it is time to unlock Six Star Fury. Uh, my Kree are kind of all over the place thanks to Red Stars. Um, got seven on my Royal Guard, five on Cyborg, so I plan on them carrying the team here. And then two on Reaper Noble and three on Oracle, but they're so low level, I don't expect them to do a whole lot. They're more for just being punching bags and uh, taking some of the heat off my other guys. So, you can see the rewards, get half a million gold, 50 cores, and half of a premium orb. Woo. <laughs> uh, there's some story about Zara Lar going on, not sure who that is, something about Supreme Intelligence, I don't know, maybe it's Scientist Supreme, I don't know. Uh, I never keep up with these things i don't know what's going on they don't really give you a recap like netflix does you know so you're just kind of stuck with whatever so for my setup I put my uh royal guard in the corner with my weakest character next to him um just so that when they die then the potential chain options aren't there uh, Reaper in the middle and then Cyborg on the end here uh, covering Noble who's on the very end so that means whenever Noble does uh, her assist attack with uh, I guess it's her special or alt or whatever you want to call it for minion um, it'll guarantee that it's an adjacent ally so I know it'll be Cyborg who's 5 red stars and 31k doing the attack so he'll do a lot more damage than some of my other options uh, now, funny thing here, uh, you get an Ultimus and a Fury to go along with it. So, uh, Fury is, or, uh, I'm sorry, Noble is right next to my Ultimus now, so he could potentially assist. Uh, so, just starting out here, they got a Merc Lieutenant who buffs everybody. Uh, let's look at the enemies. So, you can see what I have here. I get a 19k Fury and a 30k Ultimus, so that's pretty helpful. Level 70. Um, and then the enemies, let's see, all the mercs are, you know, in the teens. Um, yeah, 29k Punisher, that's strong, and Panther. And then two Iron Men, uh, a 22k uh, Black Panther, and a 21k Punisher. Okay, um, so the Punishers are going to be the top priorities when they do drop, because they get that bonus villain damage, and all of my guys except for Fury are villains. Um, so they did a lot of damage to start, so we'll just drop the uh, little minions. Uh, we'll go ahead and just heal up with uh, Oracle or whatever. Um, since he already used his ability here, I think we need to focus down this Merc Sniper who's got offense up, because that's going to hurt if he hits me. Uh, next thing, let's give some uh, regens out. And then I think... I think that bodyguard is going to taunt, but let's go ahead and get this uh, soldier down out here because he's on his own. And then Reaper can finish him up. And then we're going to slow the Merc LT because I really don't want them getting more buffs. All right, so uh, since Fury still has stealth for two turns, he's going to share that across the board. But that's okay because Royal Guard was about to lose his stealth anyway. Uh, with Ultimus, his kit, uh, his basic attack... Uh, it does have a chance to apply ability block, but it's only 30%, which is pretty low. And then um, his special does clear a positive effect, but there aren't any really clear right now. And his alt is really good for destroying tanks. It does a ton of damage to anybody that has taunt. So for right now, we'll save that until we really need it, because this, this part of it we should be able to do pretty easily. Oh, and there you got the ability block on him. All right, let's clear out that sniper because they do a lot of damage. And then um, I guess we'll go for the Merc LT just to prevent buffs. Uh, doesn't hurt. And then, yeah, just focus the damage, damage dealers first on this first wave, and you should be okay. Um, so now I, I assume the entire swath of Punishers and Iron Men's about to drop. Oh, maybe not. Okay, that's not bad. Uh, so there's no taunts up. In fact, I don't think there are any other characters that will have taunt here in the near future. Um, or, I mean, for the rest of this fight. So, uh, no positive effects to remove, but Panther does pull out um, offense up a lot. Uh, I guess we can, yeah, hide somebody. I don't know. 
That's kind of funny. Okay, so that's one thing to consider is that Panther will cascade his attacks uh, as he kills your little itty bitty minion guys. Uh, oh, okay. So you kill one and then the other four drop, so that's good to know. Um, I think Punisher is the top priority. However, these Panthers can really get rolling if they start knocking out your low level guys. Uh, but I got to kill his Punisher. Oh, wow, that was a fortunate crit. All right, uh, let's go for the panther here that has offense up. See if we can get him before he gets an attack. Uh, let's just heal up a little and then hope we can kill him. There, nice job, cyborg. Okay, so I guess we'll just use the alt on this black panther because I think, you know, with his cascade, I think that's what could really kill me here because these iron men are only 18k, which isn't terribly high. So that should be a relatively easy win. Yeah. Okay, so we can clean these guys up. Should be pretty simple here. And let's see. Yeah, I'll just attack, attack, attack. And that should do it. All right. Zaralar, we're here to free you, whoever that is. Maybe that'll be a new playable character in the future. Probably not. Uh, maybe it's a minion? I don't know. You know, they haven't actually added a minion to this game since the launch. That's kind of funny when you think about it. I've had a lot of named characters and heroes, but not any minions. So, get some cool loot. Um, and then, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a little ways off from 7 star. I got 105 so far. <laughs> Alright, so let's go find Fury and upgrade him. So mine, I really haven't been working on too much. My Fury uh, team just doesn't have very many red stars. So I really haven't invested a whole lot in them. Uh, but this is kind of nice going to 29k. That's uh, not too shabby. Um, good for a uh, sure to win blitz team, that's for sure. Um, I, I really like the uh, Fury plus some shield guys team. Uh, but yeah, if you look at my Fury team, it's just, it's it's not good for Red Stars. Um, basically, two on Nick, none on Security, two on Assault, one on Op, and two on Shield, Trooper, and three on Medic. And it's just, eh. I mean, I can mix them in with these guys, but it's just not that strong of a team without very many Red Stars. It's kind of a shame. I mean, you look at some of my guys that have Red Stars, you know, War Machine, and Star-Lord and Rocket only three stars, but I love those guys, so I boosted them up real good. And then uh, four on Punisher, four on Crossbones, five on Magneto. Uh, you know, there's some good ones here. And then seven on Royal Guard. He's he's 41k, and he's only tier eight. <laughs> he's a minion, too, which is pretty funny. Oh. Man, I wish I had... Seven star had fallen on like one of the damage dealing crees, like that, like cyborg. But I got five on cyborg, so that's all right. But you know, just something fun to play around with, anyway. Um, yeah, so that's my roster for right now. I'll save the money for later. Getting real close to unlocking Captain Marvel. I think I need another 20 or so. Oh, no, 11. Oh, not bad. So, very close. Um, yeah, so that's about it. And uh, that's six star fury, pretty. Pretty simple with my team, but again, yeah, I'll pull it back up. My Cree, you know, the 21k guys probably would have just been barely cutting it had they all been around there. Uh, and then a 16k Oracle, he died pretty pretty easily on that second wave. Um, you just got to think about, you know, what your team is. And I think really if you just invest in a couple of damage dealers like Reaper, Cyborg, um, and Noble, uh, if you just focused on those, I think you'd probably be okay, given that you get a Fury and an Ultimus uh, to go along with you in that fight. So that's a lot of a lot of extra people to help take damage and the Fury minions and stuff. So that's a couple of hits you don't have to worry about. Um, and sometimes it's just a little bit of luck, you know. Uh, the first time I unlocked Fury, I was so lucky. I was one hit away from losing my team, and it took me so many tries, and I just barely unlocked him uh, but sometimes you just got to be persistent play it 20 times and you know keep adjusting try different things and just hope you get some luck on the rolls and the crits and the hits and uh, you never know sometimes it'll work out but anyways uh, yeah definitely uh, if you can get fury it's his team is supposedly the best raid team in the game I haven't really used him a whole lot for raids uh, 
mostly just play around with them because I have them, but I really like tech teams, so what can I say?